Hello everyone, this is Vijay. First of all, a warm welcome to you. Hi. Bored as me too. Like we are bored. We are seriously bored. This has led to some people being crazy. They are letting their imagination run like sim run. Like they are running as fast as they can. Oh, hello. My name is Neha Bhattacharjee. I am a grown-up lady who is still studying and that is the weird introduction song. Weird S. Hey, this is Madhushree Mukherjee. Hi guys, I'm Tathagat. I just finished college this year. I did hotel management from IIH. Uh, yay. Hello, this is Oishi Sana here. And I've just completed my post-graduation in Zoology from the University of Calcutta. Hi, I'm Kneta. Hello everyone. I am Hey guys, this is Ronak. I don't even know why I'm making this video. Uh, my good friend Ritu Priya, she told me and here I am. I should start with a part. I'm pretty bad at introductions but still I'm gonna introduce myself and if you really don't know me, yes, I know you don't know me but I am a music enthusiast. I was processing you can it. Hi. 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 Hi there. Hi. Who are you? Who the hell are you? I'm John. Nobody likes you. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm doing another series with some of my close friends. Here I present to you a little tribute of mine from dancing, which is also a tribute to the Indian Army. So hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Hello there. That guy. Do you think that creativity involves putting your heart and soul into your work? Or is it more like letting your mind flow freely to witness the surprising results of your actions? Sometimes that works. And the outcome is like amazing and sometimes it doesn't work also. Both ways. Both both works for me and the best is when you combine the both processes. And you should have the tenacity to complete that task. It doesn't matter what we imagine about, you know, anything. Any way of creating is led by your imagination. And when you actually start doing it, like on paper, you execute that, that is when you need your heart and soul. But at first, you actually need your imagination to run, like run like the wind or anything. You just run. Let it run. Yeah, both. Both is needed. Of course, you need to put some work. In order to make things stand out, you really need to be unique. Putting out a good result needs uh, a bit of hard work. Please have something which uh, will give your creation your name. It would be clearly your creation. So, Well, uh, it can be either or it can be both. It actually depends on the outcome you are expecting and it also depends on the skills you have. For example, you know, this artwork, this was all about plan and execution. I couldn't just flow. I tried flowing. I did try. This background, I mean, this over here, as you can see, it was red initially. And there was a black tree over here with iridescent branches, but it wasn't working well. I went with the flow, but it wasn't bringing harmony to the picture. So I had to change it. I had to go for something which kind of complements the rest of the picture. But 
this on the other hand i i just did this without any kind of plan i just went with the flow i just executed one day i was just you know staring at the window and where's my hand yeah those are actually cement and paint marks from the time the apartment was built or constructed and i was like yeah i could use it background for something then i just drew that i think by tapping into this potential making the most of this potential i strive to get better results what in your personal life has influenced you to choose your career Back in 6th grade, my grades in English weren't that great, so I started watching English movies. Yeah, my grades did improve over the years. It did help me a lot. But I also realized that the world is huge. A lot is waiting for us beyond the boundaries. There's so much to explore, and hence I decided to do a kind of job which allowed me to travel and work and Hotel management does provide you a plenty of opportunity to travel and work. From childhood, you know, I've been a huge fan of biology and balance. I can't even begin to explain how astounded I was by the fact the well-being of everything, you know, in nature, be it inside our body or outside our body, you know, hangs by a very thin balance, and that. is what has attracted me a lot for example i will give a very small example without sounding too technical you walk into a dusty room you start sneezing you get an allergic reaction similarly like if there are too many deer in the forest they're going to munch down the whole forest and you know have any forest i literally don't have any idea what i'm going to be what my life will be i don't have any idea about my career but i'm sure that this whole creative crazy stuff has not really influenced any bit of my career my stream that is zoology is all about animal life and like animal world and so animals has always been a favorite thing in my life so be it a pet or the amazing wildlife i just want to feel zoology and just not study it i am doing some other things also i write poems sometimes i have a facebook page i have a youtube channel also where i teach an educational channel and i i really haven't decided which way i will put all my effort do you strive to be unique in your creative endeavors every human being is a culmination you know a conglomerate of experiences that are unique no matter how minuscule from uh, the very next person i think that if i remain true you know i know it's hard but i still strive is going to make me be more unique in my creative endeavors and also in how i live my own life you have seen a art of like van gogh and you go copy them create an art when you make something of your own you have to be creative you you can't copy others and say that it's your work knowledge you can use to the original that's me sometimes i do sometimes i don't i used to be a lot into portrait studies and i would just copy a character drawn by some you know artist you know just to learn just to exp- to see how challenging it was you know just to hone my dexterity i mean those used to get a lot of attention on instagram but then i realized i wasn't really doing something of my own and then i started drawing things original characters original art all of us are influenced in some way or the other you know it reminds me of a song by 9 inch nails called copy of a copy so yeah i try to be unique these days but then again i don't really mind kind of copying or studying a portrait or studying a character of some different artist because you know it, it improves your skills it gives you insights so yeah What do you do to keep yourself motivated and interested in your work? Nothing. Just nothing. You want to see? Then just wait. I just go to sleep. I sleep for hours. You know the bedtime thinkings, the bedtime thoughts that you have that really help turn the lights off. They just think, what am I doing with my life? The midnight thought that really helps me out. This is 
quite a tough question. <laughs> Basically two ways. The first thing is by telling myself the very old saying and please pardon my pronunciation. Karma ne vadika raste ma faleshu kadachana. Do your karma. Do your karma with your full heart and the results are going to follow. So I try to do that. I stop doing that work for some time. Focus on something else. I either read a book or I take a power nap and once I get up, I get back my motivation to complete my work. If a work is in progress, I take breaks or expressive activities. <laughs> yeah, these days I don't really draw that much. I started drawing because, you know, as a therapy uh, to sort a few things out up in my head and it did help me a lot but now it has served its purpose and I don't really want to draw or create something new anymore. I just started very recently back in 2018. Before 2018 I didn't draw for like seven years. I mean the last time I drew was back in fifth grade. After that I stopped drawing till I finished uh, high school. And then I started drawing again in the second year of my college. I'm kind of getting over art. It's kind of demanding, takes a lot of time and effort. You can just say I've become lazy, I guess. Take in as much as I can. Know more, go a bit forward and uh, try to know all the adjacent areas with a careeristic approach, I would say. Were you ever discouraged? If so, how did it affect your creativity? Yes, I, I did. I, every year for several months. Yeah, there has uh, been a number of occasions. I tend to be a bit more creative, which is mainly the other thing that I do is uh, singing. I uh, did my personal kind of counseling, so uh, that really helped me. When somebody gets to know that I'm learning Japanese, why Japanese? Uh, more study, oh my god, such a geek, <laughs> and all that. It didn't actually uh, affect it me in a bad way because the more you say no to something the more it becomes appealing to you so yeah that's why we do drugs we are not supposed to. No, I, I have always been encouraged when it comes to art, creativity. No matter how well I can be, probably I'll never ever be a patissier. The fact that I can solve Ruby Cube up to 5x5, five five, I'll never probably, you know, compete in speed cubing competition. I can do origami, but never am I going to be a crafts teacher. I can mug up my lines and, you know, stand on the stage and just act, but I'll never take up that professionally. Sit with a piece of paper and a pen again and I'm not gonna draw anything again. This this isn't going anywhere. Just think of 2019. From January to July, I'm drawing. And suddenly, I got demotivated in June, July. Okay. Now I'm thinking, why am I drawing? Uh, for who? Uh, so that's basically my process. I pick up another hobby, just like that. I bought these guitars, and then I realized that it's just harder. Creating arts was way easier. So I go back to arts again. Sometimes write things. Decided to write a novel. I started writing it. After like 15-16 pages, I just gave up. I have taken up learning Japanese as a hobby. Love Japanese anime and I've loved it since I was in the first grade school, you know. So learning Japanese is like a dream come true for me. Especially when you know that you are your own worst critic, you know. I have been trying to battle this. I've been told that I shouldn't draw these dark kind of images, you know, skulls and stuff. But I kept on drawing them. It's not good yet. Most people are not good. Your creation is going to reflect that. Yeah, that doesn't mean that I was born in front of us and stuff. No, I wasn't that. Discouragement only led me to think that I should continue doing what I do. People will understand or even if they don't, but back in you know the third year of my college I realized started this whole art thing because I I wanted to run away from something hence I wanted to create this new identity which had the, its own different set of associations and its own different you know, group of people I just started doing art because I wanted to run away from something because I needed some time to figure shit out and I did so this whole objective of doing art was sort of accomplished. How did it affect me? A lot. I, I stopped doing art 
I really thought that I was going to be an artist. I mean, I still can if I put my will to it, but then again, I was kind of forgetting what I signed up for, and I have to be practical. If, I, if I'm moved enough emotionally someday, I'll definitely draw something again. If you had to start over, would you choose a different path in your career? Maybe start over from my childhood. That's a good option though. Then I, I can actually rectify all the all the mess that I've created back in the day. Just saying. Right now I'm kind of in the mainstream area, you know, things that we are supposed to do and which are supposed to help us in life and money. If I had the chance to start over, I would have chosen painting, created some of my stuff, showed it to people, making them realize that I have very scary, really shitty kind of a mind. Probably not. I don't do it for like others. I do it for myself. Keeping aside the fact that I am as lazy as it gets, my upstairs is almost empty according to my mother. I would love, you know, love, love to become a detective or, 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 or be a detective's assistant. I still want to start over, but I just lack the assets, the resources, the financial backup. If I had that, if I had that, then definitely I would go for something else. I would like to start over and I would like to to uh, go for history. Probably I'm gonna stick to my arts and all and I'm not gonna do anything else. Not maybe art and animation. First I would go for career counseling, get all the psychoanalytics done to know what I am made for, what I'm good at. Then definitely I would take a decision. If you could become one of your characters or works of art, which one would you choose? Why? No, I'd rather be the creative and create. Well, first, I would like to finish life or, you know, get done with life as the character I am now, as the character I am going to evolve into eventually. I would definitely be this, one of these birds. Like, one of these is male and another is female. <laughs> it's just fun being bird in general. Okay, you can fly, you can do everything. A kind of a person who is fearless of judgments, confident, true to her words, trustworthy, bold, independent, influential, set as an example for others. A me with those super power features, super girl, Sneha, it is. And I created this for myself. I created this zone where I can be weird, I can be crazy, I can be pretty much a dumbass. And this is a character. I won't shift it to something else, I won't change it. I would like to keep this as it is. Then, after my death, I guess I would love to be this character of mine which I drew a few days ago. Maybe you can see the picture somewhere around here. Maybe she'll put it in the editing. Well, he has certain powers and a kind of uh, intellectual property, it's kind of a part of my story, the story I told you I was working on. So I will not reveal much, but one day if my work of fiction becomes famous, I guess you will see. And the most interesting part for me is that I have created this when I was like in 6th or 7th standard, like 8, 2009 that time. And from that time, these two birds have never moved. They, they don't have to do any work for their living. They just stand together with each other and gossip, chit chat all the day and all the nights also, I guess. Outside the pandemic situation is going on. We all are scared. They are just happy. Okay, so I want to be this happy. In thinking about the things that you have created, is this something that you hated but the public may have loved and perhaps purchased? How do you explain this? I pretty much like most of my creations because they are me and I like myself. Yeah, there were some things that I, I wasn't really satisfied with them but people were like, no, you're good, you're good. And I was like, bitch, you're fake as far. For me, it's all about like social media. Okay, so I upload many of my arts on social media, on Instagram and Facebook and all. Some arts that I like, that I specifically like very, very, very much. Public just uh, react on that like, yeah, it's okay, it's fine, man. You, you are doing a good job. 
some hours that case i don't like i don't hate it but i don't like it that upload that on social media and suddenly people become like oh bhai what have you done recently i had baked this batch of vanilla muffins for my friends i was not really happy with that batch you know my friends they are like awesome supportive people you know this they really really loved it and they are so supportive of everything that i do i was in that satisfied i think that i have done better i want to do better this, this thing didn't happen to me really done better i could have done better i don't know if i could really have done better like people who listen to me they like it Yeah I I studied this portrait done by this artist called Kari Kari Mae she did this portrait of a girl sort of influenced by anime and manhwa manhwa is korean manga or korean comic I kind of I in a copy that I obviously did give credits to her or him I, I'm not really sure about the gender I, I I didn't think it was that great but people loved it people just started oh my god that's so cute I was like Dude, it's not even that good. I guess people will love anything which kind of resembles anime or you know manhwa these days. It's it's a thing now. They like kawaii stuff. A long time ago, I drew the tattoo kind of a thing, and a guy kind of liked it, and he said that he would like to buy. It. I was so upset that I had to give up. I actually, did I actually gave that up? I got twenty bucks for that. It was my first painting that anybody bought. What is your favorite color? Does this color describe you as a person? Please explain. All the shades of black and white and also blue. Basically I love to use these colors in my paintings also. Maroon kind of look good it is. Also it's very vibrant and I really like that beige and pastels, you know. Calming to soothing. I, I think that's why I love those colors. So there is the vibrant spectrum on this side and the pastel spectrum on this side and to look for the balance in between them you know i love colors cotton green every kind of yellow every shades of yellow cherry red ruby red midnight blue crystal blue you get you know like the color of clear water i am a very multicolored personality person i have no idea pink describes that i'm why am i doing this Red describes that I'm very passionate. Brown describes the warm and the cool tones going on in me. Purple, it's just a very pretty color, so I love it. I like red, black, white, gray, green, yellow, orange, blue, purple, and indigo and pink. If I had to give myself any color, then I would give a color that is a mixture of black, brown, yellow, green, blue. So yeah, basically the color of food. Yeah. What is the best advice that you have been given? Uh, there's this friend of mine who said you can get high as much as you want. You can have nice trips. You can have nice imagination and vis visualization. But then where's the practicality in that thing? It would be great if you could record it and make something out of it. People in Silicon Valley they do the same kind of thing. They get high. They come up with new kind of solutions. They come up with new kind of applications and algorithms. It kind of helps them. Treat human beings like human beings. Don't exceed in your expectations from them. Everyone is flawed. You are flawed. I am flawed. So we should treat everybody, including ourselves, like human beings. Okay to make mistakes. And it's okay to fall down at times. Getting up is what matters. One year from now, whatever that is there upsetting you right at this moment, it won't even matter. Till then, we just need to stay strong, keep working, and keep fighting. Never lose yourself for someone else. Just don't change. Just be the best version of yourself. This is it. This is it. Thank you. Whatever your mind says, do whatever your heart says. Do whatever you want. Make whatever you think is great. Don't listen to others. Don't take others' advices. Yeah, that that is the advice. Okay. And another advice was it actually comes from Bible, but I don't really read Bible about Jonah and the whale. You should definitely look it up on YouTube. Uh, it was explained by Jordan Peterson. That can provide you some great insight. It's not like I was totally unaware of it. I, I did kind of observe that kind of thing in in my life. I wasn't really sure, but But after hearing that lecture of Jordan Peterson, it kind of changed a lot. So yeah, do check it out. Most boring advice: keep on practicing. Nobody is the best. You can do better. I have given myself best advice that I ha I have given myself. It doesn't matter what you create, as long as you are creating. 
just keep on creating do the hell with it the hell with the world hell with everything just keep on creating <laughs> they've been amazing awesome each and every adjective is for you guys and thank you so much and for being here no no anyway so those were the question and answer part that this guy here i don't know why he's still here he's still here anyways and here are some of them sharing most of their creativity and some of them what they are and where they are from and things are getting done we are doing things i mean that is kind of annoying because you know every time you open you are any, any kind of social media it's like i did this i did that i did this hey hey okay people we get it youtube has decided to make a video out of this annoyingness out of this mess well yeah she made a bad call choosing me but भिजे पता गो घुमार आगे का डाके क्यों जाने शुद्ध हिम हिम प्रथम शिशिर एपे थिर थिर शुदू रेलगाड़ी फिर चले गिझुम स्टेशन नोटे गाचटी लेखा रूपकथा पृथ्वी Actually, we all know from that from coronavirus pandemic, we all are in our house and home. So, I also in my house, and I spent a lot of time with my family, with my parents, uh, and regaining my childhood memories. That so we all are trying to spend much of time with our family, but now at our busy time, we cannot. And that was the time with our family. What had that was time to do our passion or to do our hobby. So from this coronavirus pandemic, we have a lot of time to do hobby to continue our passion. <laughs> I can sing a bit. Love to draw. I love to do things that makes me happy cuz I don't know what really makes me happy. I'm a pretty moody person and by moody I can say that it's extreme. It's a disorder if that even exists. One essential thing I really like, I am a BTS fan. Cringe alert. 
have some, but yeah, it's not going to me. This is me. This is my introduction. I can't do it any better. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I just wasted your time with this introduction, but I'm so sorry. Or am I? I am a fourth year medical student of Mirnapur Medical College. Those hands and lights can't stop me. I just hold on for dear life. সবার চোখে দাঁড়ালে সবুজ শালমহুয়ায় ঘেরা ছোট ছুটি করা কাঠ বেড়ালির গাছগাছালির ভিড়ে নেভে নেভে না মাটির প্রতি পথ ভাড়াদের ডাকে দূরে কোনো গায়ে হাসুদি বাকের ছোট্ট শেখেয়া ঘাটে আজও চিঠি এসে প্রণাম জানায় ঘর আগলানো মাকে ছটা রাজহাঁস বাড়ি না ফির খেয়ে সুচ্চি না মিলা কাটে বুকে ভরে দিত প্রাণ খিদের থালার এক পাশে দিত ইলিশ মাছটি রেখে This pandemic happened and I'm kind of stuck at home right now. I guess most of us are. So anyways, let's talk about my interests. I like drawing, gaming. ইন্সপিরেশন ওয়াজ ড্রোন ফ্রম রেকি এজ ওয়েল আই গেস দিস 
dude over here is uh, Dajjal from Islam, the Lord of Illusion. So yes, I might have said that this represents Dajjal, but that was my second interpretation. In the beginning, it actually represented me. I was suffering, you know, these glasses kind of uh, represent a visor. Imagine that that's me actually going through the internet searching for answers while high. Uh, maybe I'm tripping on a cigarette or weed or something. And then when all the pieces connected together and they formed a bigger picture, I kind of emerged out of it as a better being with a higher understanding. So yeah, that is another way of looking at it. So basically the way they describe him, it reminded me of Skynet from Terminator. It reminds me of an AI. It's the appearance. Anyways, thanks for watching. See ya. Anyways, thanks for watching. See ya. He's still alive. Here is he. <laughs> Actually, this is Oprotim, and thank you so much, Oprotim, for doing the voiceover and everything. This is a cute little guy. Thank you, everyone. It's been a long time. I started this project back in uh, July or August, and it's over now. At last, everyone, everyone, thank you so much. Hope to see you soon back in another video. I don't know if this guy is going to come back or not, but yeah, I, I killed him. I killed him. So. <laughs> Anyways, bye.